Hey guys, welcome to part two on rebuilding Polaris Ranger 700 XP. And if you see my previous video, I had rebuilt the motor on this and when I went to fire it up, it wouldn't fire up. So I ran into a couple things and uh, this is going to be an important video because it's something I want to go through with the 700s. Uh, there's a reason why uh, the crankshafts and the bearings go out on them. So hang tight to the end of the video and I'll explain everything. But let me show you what I did. So we went through the whole fuel injection system. We did replace the throttle body because the throttle body was all caked. Um, like I said, it was probably sitting for a year with the engine out and dirt and crap got stuck in there. So. Uh, I thought why it wouldn't fire up was because of the fuel injection system. So I replaced the fuel injectors and I've got them sitting out here. Um, went through the throttle body and it still wouldn't fire. So uh, there's a great video on YouTube if you uh, research it on how to set your TPS because when I bought this thing, it was actually set at, uh, I believe it's point eight two and it's supposed to be set at 0.71 um, oh I take that back that's uh, with a meter if you do it with a multimeter it's 0.62 that this has to be set to so you loosen up the screw and you turn this and then you dial that in so you uh, get the right setting so you get the right amount of airflow when uh, this thing starts up. So we went through everything. Check the uh, the PDM, the ECM, everything electronic um, on the uh, the MAP sensor, the TBAP sensor, whatever it's called, an air box. Those wires are known to break. I thought that might have been it. I replaced that. Checked the wires. Everything was great. So I'm like, okay, why isn't this thing firing up? So I remember in the first video, I did put new hydraulic lifters in. What I found out was on the 700 engines, there is a oil pump uh, pressure relief valve, which I didn't know about. I mean, this is my you know, third or fourth uh, 700, well, I built the 700 and an 800 engine. So this is kind of new to me. Uh, the uh, 500s, I know like the back of my hand. I'm learning and uh, I'm just trying to teach you some of the mistakes that I've run across so you guys don't do the same thing. So what was going on, I pulled the rocker cover off and I noticed the hydraulic lifters weren't pushing on the rockers and the valves weren't opening so it wouldn't fire. And let me show you why. So, when you pull this bolt off the top, the bolt's here, there's usually a spring in there, like that. And then there's a little, I believe it's an 8 millimeter by 16 millimeter, it looks like a doll pin that slides in here. And if I can get you in here, right about here is where it drops in. Now, back to my question, why do the 700 and 800 engines go bad after say three or 4,000 miles? I learned something new this week. That pressure relief valve likes to stick. If there's, uh, if you get dirt in your oil and either it gets stuck open, if it gets stuck open, you know, this is your oil that comes in, this opens up, it basically dumps it back into your case. If it's stuck closed, what it does is it uh, pumps up your hydraulic lifters so bad and puts a lot of pressure on the rockers that it actually destroys the cam, the connecting rod, and the, uh, the bearings. So that's why there's issues with the 700 and 800s. So there's a great video on YouTube. Uh, this guy can explain it better than I can. And actually what he ended up doing was, 
used an L wrench to pop that out. I don't know if I can get you in here, if you can even see it. It's right down here. And it pushes out, and he replaced it with two 5 16 ball bearings, and then put the spring and the bolt back in. So I put a clean one in mine, put it back together. I actually uh, pulled the spark plugs uh, just so the engine would move freely, and I hit the key, and I got the lifters to pump back up. And now the rocker's open and the valve's open like they should. Let me show you. All right, so I'm gonna hit the key. I also replaced the key switch too. Now I go to hit it. The valve's open like they should. I'm actually getting oil out of the ports. Everything's pumping up. So now I gotta get the rocker cover back on. I'll assemble everything back up and see if I can get this bad boy to fire up. But yeah, this is a little uh, oversight on my part because when I cleaned the, the case halves, I never took that out. Uh, so it'd be a good idea if you are reassembling an engine. Take that apart, take a look at that. Make sure that little valve down here is not stuck. Uh, if it's stuck open or stuck closed. So be worth checking out if you get a lot of lifter noise that could be why I had somebody check this out for me and he thought it might be the oil pump and I just I got another engine laying here had a hard time believing it was the oil pump because those oil pumps are pretty much indestructible I mean every once in a while you get a bad one I've been doing this for seven years I've never ran across a bad oil pump So it turned out to be the pressure relief valve. So guys, hope you like my, my tip. I'm gonna get this thing back together and hopefully next time you see me, we'll be driving this thing around. All right, hit the thumbs up if you like the video. And like always, till next time.